Hello everyone, uh, you're watching Exo Photography. I got a box today from uh, Telescope Service. Uh, I have been uh, emailing them about uh, me wanting to change the, the focuser. I had a Starlight Feather Dutch uh, 3235, I believe uh, the correct uh, number is for that one. Uh, it's a true three inch focuser uh, which has a uh, length of uh, three and a half inches um, that turned out to be uh, a longer focuser than was specified with my tube uh, in the first beginning so I mailed them and said I think I have a, a long too long focuser and I want that exchange with the focuser that is specified with the tube from the start. So they sent me, or at least I hope it's it's the new focuser. It's very well packed, I'd say. Yep, it says here. Feather Touch Focuser 3215. This one has a draw tube of 1.5 inches. So uh, this is supposed to be the correct one. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so let's take a closer look to the Starlight Feather Touch focuser. Um, this uh, one is a true 3 inch focuser. Uh, it's the 3215 model. Um, you can see the V groove here. Um, it's uh, supposed to attach to a rotating base, which then is uh, uh, threaded on the Newtonian base adapter. Um, it consists of it's a rack and pinion, so it's not uh, one of those uh, uh, clutches uh, that relies on friction, but it, it's a uh, it's a gear inside, and it is uh, very smooth, uh, rock solid. Uh, there is no um, uh, the movement is it, it's sturdy. Uh, it won't budge. Um, there is a lock screw here, so you can tighten this down, and you won't be able to move it. Um, I showed you earlier um, my focuser, but since I um, uh, have gotten this to replace my. Uh, 3235 focuser which has almost uh, almost 100 millimeters of uh, length um, I might as well show you how to attach the focuser to this uh, yeah this focus motor to the focuser okay so first of all um, I want to remove uh, this one is just a uh, set screw in here. We put this aside. You also want to uh, remove this one as well. There we go. So basically we're going to attach this color upon this one here. 
and notice that uh, I have two clamshell adapters so if you want to mount the uh, focus motor onto a bigger focuser you might check up that you need this bigger uh, clamshell I uh, also see there are some grub screws these are to align uh, the motor so that the rotation of the uh, axle uh, turns smooth um, and you also want to attach a coupling to the shaft. There's a slightly smaller hole in this one. As you can see, uh, there is a hole here. So I can reach down and tighten these grub screws. Uh, I'm just going to back this off a bit. Okay, so uh, I have now uh, coupled the uh, shaft on the axle. And let's check the movement. If it feels smooth. As you can see, uh, the motor wobbles just a bit. So we need to, um, I'm going to lock this down just a bit and because the motor moves a little bit it would probably feel uh, like it uh, uh, has some resistance. Yes, it's like wing, 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 wing. So we need to adjust the set screws, um, this one here. So. I will try to turn each and one to see if it gets better or worse. Yeah, that became a bit better. And also, you need to uh, align in which direction you want the focus motor. For me, uh, I want it this way, so I want to align it. So, when it feels smooth, um, tighten the collar down. I could actually hear better when um, it sits on the table. You can ha hear the resonance. So yeah, um, pretty much uh, that's it. Uh, I have a good feel for it. So let's mount it on the telescope.
If you like my channel, please subscribe to it and you will get notified when I have uploaded some new videos.